Dear viewers, my name is Sitwa Zivir Simhan. Today I will show you the first and very important lesson on interpreting the results of geochemical studies of oil, part one. Cast chromatography analysis of oil and its application to substantiate the physical and chemical purposes of oil. This slide provides brief information about myself. I have 13 years of experience in interpreting geochemical data received a bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering and master's degree in petroleum geochemistry at Newcastle University. I am the founder of a geochemistry laboratory in chemistry engineering, in which over the last nine years, we have carried out geochemical analysis of 7,000 of oil samples derived from 160 oil and gas fields of Kazakhstan and the Russian Federation within the framework of 100 projects. I have been a geochemistry trainer for the last five years in Kazakh, Russian, and the English languages. The importance of geochemical analysis of oil. To visualize the importance of geochemical analysis of oil, on this slide I can pair different types of studies used in medicine and geology with their corresponding analogies. To explain briefly, MRI in medicine and seismic studies in geology are similar in that MRI is based on measuring the electromagnetic response of atomic nuclei, while seismic study is based on studying the propagation of wave oscillations. Reading an ECG allows a cardiologist to determine the presence of a heart disease of a patient while Reading chromatogram of oil enables a geochemist to characterize the composition of oil and its suitability for further analysis. A general blood test and physical and chemical studies of oil are similar in that the first one allows one to detect only the number of red blood cells, leukocytes, hemoglobin and other blood cells, while the second one is limited with determining density, viscosity, powerpoint, and so forth, content, it's, and etc. For a detailed blood test, is used a blood biochemistry test, which includes the determination of cholesterol, glucose, and etc., which allows one to judge the functioning of internal organs. To in-depth study and determine the genetic parameters of oil is carried out biomarker analysis, which enables to characterize the source drug of oil and its migration pathways. In medicine, the patient is prescribed with one of the above mentioned tests depending on his complaint. A similar approach is applied in geology. Therefore, an experienced data analyst is one who draws a conclusion based on the comparison of data or results from different analysis because sometimes the laboratory and technician might make mistakes or an uncalibrated instrument may produce an incorrect value. Anything might happen. That's why the use of such an integrated approach is very important to understand the composition of oil at the molecular and atomic levels. Sometimes, as can be seen in the figure, specialists from different laboratories can say the same thing with different terms. Geochemical study of oil can be divided into two groups, reservoir geochemistry and the source rock geochemistry. Reservoir geochemistry includes an assessment of reservoir continuity, compartmentalization studies, and the correlation of pay zones, determination of the degree of oil mixing from several sources and compositional alterations of oil in reservoir conditions. The source rock is the rock in which oil and gas are generated and hydrocarbons migrate upward along the fall to the seal where they accumulate. For the source rock geochemistry are carried out biomarker analysis and carbon isotope analysis to characterize the source rock of oils in terms of environmental condition, type of corrigent, lithology, age of source rock and thermal maturity assessment. Based on this, we can discern genetic link between different oil samples, though it's called genetic typing of oil. Identification and characterization of source rocks can be done by rocky wall pyrolysis, veterinary reflectance measurement, and mesial analysis, and etc. 
for reservoir GKMC standards of oil, I use light hydrocarbon fractions, while for the source of GKMC of oil, higher molecular weight and alkanes, well, heavy oil fractions in which biomarkers are present are used. There are several geochemical analysis of oil to characterize their source rocks. In this seminar, I will show you the interpretation of the results of the following five types of main analysis. Cast chromatography analysis of oil, biomarker analysis of oil, diamondite analysis of oil, and analysis of aromatic hydrocarbons, carbon isotope analysis of oil, in fractions uh, five, um, NMR or and uh, IR spectroscopy anal analysis. Today I will show you the interpretation of the results of gas chromatography analysis of oil and its application to substantiate the physical and chemical purposes of oil. We geochemists use gas chromatography but petrochemists use a distillation column. The operating principles of these instruments are very similar since the yield of hydrocarbons is based on their boiling points. In both approaches, the light hydrocarbons such as gasoline, kerosene, diesel come out first, then more intermediate ones are separated. Finally, higher molecular and alkane hydrocarbons come out or elute. In gas chromatography analysis, the retention time of each hydrocarbon is shown on the x axis, while the concentrations are on the y axis. The difference between these approaches is that in gas chromatography, petroleum products of oil are not separated, but the relative concentrations can be visually seen and interpreted. Gas chromatography of oil is carried out to check the quality of the samples and their suitability for further analysis. That's why I showed it. First on the list, you can integrate the peaks of alkanes and isoprenoids using three ways. The first way is adding an internal standard to the oil before the analysis. We add cyclopentane to the oil sample because on the chromatogram it eludes between C15 and C16. Then we can easily integrate the remaining peaks. If we forget to add an internal standard to the oil sample, then we can use a second way. Can you see two peaks that you looked immediately after C17 and C18? They are pristine and phytane, phytane. Yeah? If we identify them, then we can easily integrate the remaining peaks. The third way of peak integration is based on the assumptions that each NLK eludes at a certain retention time unless the column and the method of the analysis are changed. Let's interpret to see if I chromatograms of oils visually without integration of peaks. If such chromatograms demonstrate a bias in the distribution of alkanes toward higher molecular and alkanes, then it is typical of oils derived from marine organic matter. It means the source of, of such oils is deposited in the marine environment. Marine source oils usually have a lower perfume content and accordingly sub zero per point values and they are usually found in deep sediments. Such chromatograms can be traced for oils of the Caspian Basin in Kazakhstan. Per point is the lowest temperature at which oil becomes mobile. If on the chromatograms of oils is shown a p-model distribution of alkanes with predominance of higher molecular ones, then such chromatograms are tested to oils derived from lacustrine or land plant, plant sourced or organic matter. Such oils have higher paraffin content and uh, correspondingly higher power point values. In Kazakhstan, such chromatograms are typical of oils from the South Togai and the South Mangshlak basins biodegraded oils. Let me first explain you what oil biodegradation is. Biodegradation is microbial modification of the hydrocarbons in oil that occurs in shallow reservoirs where temperature doesn't exceed 80 degrees. Bacterial activity can be vigorous 
that's a boil water interface in reservoir. Bacteria involved in the process of oil decomposition require contact with water, so biodegradation is often accompanied by water washing. To put it bluntly, bacteria eat an alkanes. As a consequence, oil becomes viscous. So severe degree of biodegradation usually increases the acidity, metal composition, sulfur content, viscosity, density of the oil. The effect of biodegradation on gas chromatograms of saturates is most obvious when alkanes have been attacked significantly. As biodegradation process and the major resolved components are removed, the characteristic broad hump becomes apparent in chromatograms. This hump is caused by UCM, unresolved complex mixtures, you can see there. Of course, some stable isoprenoids with no alkanes may be present in the chromatograms of such oil. Chromatograms of condensates usually show only low molecular weight in alkanes. Of course, the range of hydrocarbons in gas condensates depends on the field. For example, our gas condensate fields such as Ayrakta, Jarkon, and Amangilde have not only light hydrocar hydrocarbons, but also contain some minor biomarkers that are not typical of gas condensates. As we said earlier, over the last nine years, we have carried out geochemical studies of 7,000 oil samples derived from 160 fields of Kazakhstan, and we have a huge database. We have published many scientific papers in the US, Europe, and the CIS countries, so we can show you some non-confidential data here. For all oil and gas basins of Kazakhstan, we created a geochemical atlas of oil and environmental conditions of organic matter, where marine source oil swim market in dark blue circle, while the custom ones are with light blue circles. In the Caspian Basin, oils were derived from marine organic matter, while those in the South Togai, Shusarsu and Buzachi Basin were formed mainly from the Kustan organic matter. In the South Mangshlak Basin, oils were determined to be generated from both marine and the Lacustrian organic matter. For instance, the lower horizons of horizons of jet field demonstrated marine source of oils, while the upper horizons showed Lacustrian source of oils. It should be noted that within the same basin, there might be oils with different chromatograms, for example, in the field of the southern part of the Caspian Basin, four groups of oils can be seen. The first group includes non-biodegraded oils, in the chromatograms of which all alkanes are present, as you can see. Slightly biodegraded oils comprise the second group. The chromatograms indicate the absence of light fraction with the signs of biodegradation. The third group includes oils that have undergone evaporative fractionation in the reservoir light fractions first phase in the oil migrated from the lower layers to the upper intervals due to the flow of dry gas and it turned it into the liquid phase at a relatively low temperature of the reservoir. So they so get mixed it with the oil of this layer, that is the second phase. For further interpretation of such oils, we usually carry out separate analysis to calculate Thompson, Halpern, Mango parameters. The fourth group includes biodegraded oils. Almost 90% of the oils in the Cretaceous sediments in the southern part of the Caspian Basin has undergone biodegradation. Let's do practical task number one together. Using oil chromatograms, determine which oils are biodegraded and which are not biodegraded. It is also necessary to determine the environmental condition of the organic matter from which these oils were derived. Yes, the presence of nastenic hub on the chromatograms of Moldavic and Karasor oil samples indicates biodegradation, while the presence of bimodal distribution of alkanes on the chromatograms of Axablack oils suggests the acoustine or land plant sourced oils. Next, let me show you how 
biodegradation and the environmental condition of the organic matter affect the physical and chemical properties of oil. Here, the results of the physical and chemical properties of these oils. So, here we can substantiate the physical and the chemical properties of oil. For example, due to the biodegradation, oils from eastern Moldova and the western Karasol have a relatively high density, viscosity, and high content of chloride salts compared to other non biodegraded oils. In terms of environmental condition of organic matter, the crystalline source of oils such as East and the South Akshawa have a relatively high paraffin content and the per point values compared to marine sourced oils. After integration of peaks on the chromatogram, it is possible to conduct a quantitative analysis by these two plots. The first plot is used to determine environmental condition of organic matter, thermal maturity assessment, and the degradation on PIGI software. The second one is plot of carbon preference index and terrigenous aquatic ratio for assessing the contribution of land plant sourced and aquatic sourced organic matter in the composition of oils. Thank you for your attention.